In today's brief video, I want to share with you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly when it comes to quitting smoking weed. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dr. Frank. I'm the founder of Addiction Mindset Recovery Coaching Programs, which are dedicated to helping people quit nicotine, THC, energy drinks, and adult media, addictions I once struggled with. If you wind up enjoying the content in today's video, be sure to check out the pinned comment or the video description to get your free copy of the seven step guide to quitting smoking weed today or our free copy of the 11 foundational pillars of recovery. There's three components or three timelines when it comes to quitting smoking weed in my opinion. Uh, Timeline number one, and maybe the one that's most optimistic, is the good. So this is where you're watching a channel like mine that has over 500 videos dedicated to helping people quit smoking weed. And I talk about all the positive things that have happened in my life and the lives of many other people who have quit um, cannabis substance use uh, addictions or disorders. We talk about the improvement in relationships. We talk about the improved finances, the improved mental clarity, the improved physical health and the improved mental health. And these would be the good things that a lot of people stand to experience as long as they allow for enough time in their recovery and sobriety process after quitting smoking weed. Now that's, that's the easy stuff. Then we have the bad. Uh, the bad is usually what we experience when we first quit smoking weed. And this would have to do with the withdrawal symptoms. So this is where you might get the insomnia, some of the sweating, the stomach pain, the headache, the irritability, the digestive issue changes. These are your physical and psychological withdrawal symptoms, cravings being a hallmark sign of that. And I think most people who have gone through uh, cannabis withdrawal or cannabis detox would agree that withdrawals are bad. Although on our channel, we encourage you to embrace them because it's a sign that your body's detoxing and healing. I think we all agree they're not a pleasant experience. And then we have the ugly. And the ugly is, in my opinion, where you're looking in the mirror and here you are, you're finally sober and things feel worse. Uh, this is where you quit smoking weed and maybe you're two weeks, three weeks, two months in and things feel worse. You don't like the person that you see in the reflection of the mirror. Uh, you don't like the way you look physically. You don't like the way you feel mentally. And you don't like the circumstances that you're currently facing in your day-to-day -day life. And this doesn't have to be a rock bottom. This doesn't have to be a terrible place. This is just a place that you never thought you would see yourself in. And perhaps that place has now been compounded by the side effects of addiction and the consequences of addiction, right? Maybe it's financial trouble. Maybe it is relation trouble, maybe it is physical health complications from, from substance abuse. And it's at this point in the ugly where I often found myself turning back to smoking. Um, I didn't like the person I was, I didn't like the life that I was living, and at times I think I found it easier to return to smoking than I did to forge through with quitting. And this is, this is the ugly. Now, the, the thing that I eventually became, came to realize is that the situations that I was facing at that moment in time, the person that I was, was pretty much a direct result of my actions. And through quitting, I've learned a lot about accountability, accountability to myself, and I've learned a lot about patience. And I know that with accountability and patience, we have the ability to change not only ourselves, but our life circumstances dramatically. And by looking at that situation, the ugly, and saying, I don't like how this is, but knowing deep down that I was a large reason for the reason for for the reason that I was in the spot I was in actually was a comforting feeling because it meant that I was in control of the situation. It meant that I could influence the outcomes in my life, even though in that moment, the outcome was ugly, the outcome was negative. Through that, through practicing patience, through practicing sobriety, through practicing recovery, through practicing accountability, I was able to take something that was ugly and I can say now years later, I've created a really beautiful life for myself that I'm thrilled to be thrilled to be living and thrilled to be embracing. And I would tell you that if you're watching this, if you're finding yourself in either the bad or the ugly, 
the bad will pass, the withdrawals will pass, physically it will get better, mentally it will get better. We typically tell people just try and get to that 90 day mark. If it's the ugly, realize that although it might be a tough pill to swallow, you are ultimately in control of this situation and the decisions that are going to influence how you look tomorrow, how you look next week, the person that you see in the mirror next year. It's your actions and your decisions that are going to play a big role in that. And of course, you have to be patient. And if you're experiencing the good and you've quit smoking weed and you have found some happiness and you have found uh, some gratitude and recovery, congratulations. Keep doing exactly what you're doing. Keep riding that wave because it's uh, when you get to that spot where things are good, it's, it's good. So I hope this video resonates with someone. I mean, you know, we always talk about weed as and quitting addictions as kind of sunshine and roses after you get through the withdrawals. And that's just simply not true because I know for a lot of people that we've worked with, I know for myself personally, Personally, sometimes we don't like the person that we see when we're sober and getting sober finding recovery is a very powerful opportunity to I I'm gonna say change that person right because it's not that I wanted to go exactly back to the person that I was when I got myself into smoking weed or rather when I got myself into addiction in the first place I wanted to become someone different and I think sobriety and recovery was a phenomenal opportunity to create that so if you wound up enjoying today's video and you're looking to uh, go through those phases of weed uh, abstinence, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you're looking to make that journey a little bit easier, be sure to check out our free seven-step guide to quit smoking weed today, or check out the pinned comment to learn more about our other free and paid addiction mindset recovery coaching program resources. I'll see you guys in the pinned comment or the video description. Until next time.